Welcome back guys to Psycho Enigma's Pokemon Storm Silver Nuzlocke run. In the previous part we made it here into Golden Rod City. And today my intention is to uh, to take on the gym uh, with, with any luck. Uh, first of all I want to check out the department store because I want to try and get some good TMs for my Pokemon. Because before I forget, which I will because you guys know what I'm like. Uh, I taught Arthur, he now knows Water Pulse, got rid of um, Water Gun for the TM we got. Uh, back at the Pokemon Center, so I need to get some TMs, and I have absolutely no idea where they're sold. Well, I need to at least find out where the hell they are, because nope, they are not here. But I will need to see at some point if we can get something. I was going to say something, I completely forgot what I was going to say. No, you do the X items, you're, you're not helpful to me. Uh... I was going to say something about stuff and I can't quite remember. <laughs> My memory is terrible. Uh, okay, what have we got? No, you are the like the protein person McThing. Please tell me there's TMs for sale here. That would be really nice if there are because I could do with some of those. Okay, so what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got these. We got these, which is TM17. I don't know what that is. If the foe's HP downs under half this attack will hit double damage. That's Brian. Uh, that's false swipe. Uh, okay. Oh, we got stuff like thunderbolt. That's nice thunder. Sorry. Okay, so we got fire blast, thunder, blizzard. Uh, what are you? May lower the focus special defense. I want to say that's focus blast. That sounds like focus blast. Cool, so we got our super powered TMs up there, and what we got over here, we've got Dig, uh, Grass Knot, and something, I can't remember, let's get Dig, because Dig is like an epic move, and we can put that on, um, uh, what's his face, I, f uh, I forget his name, Marsh Domp, whatever Marsh Domp's called, so Dig, yeah, he's got 80 base power, which is awesome, and a lot of people can learn Dig. I think I might have to come back here and purchase some more of those, but let's see what we can get rid of. Um, take a look. Water Pulse, we want a Water Stab move. Mud Bomb has 10 more base power than Mud Shot. Mud Shot lowers speed, Mud Bomb lowers accuracy. Then again, Mud Shot is guaranteed to reduce speed, whereas Mud Bomb doesn't always do accuracy. Yawn can be quite useful. Ah, uh, this is this is awkward. This is awkward. Uh, I'm gonna go with getting rid of mud shot. To be totally honest, there we go, and we now know dig. Awesome. So that's a cool move to teach, and it's been three minutes of an episode, and I've done like nothing productive. And if you hear any outside noise, apologies for that. There appears to be a party going on somewhere for some reason. Apparently, people have decided to celebrate for no real reason. Anyway, that Joey was calling us, but it's like, go away, Joey. No one cares about your top percentage radata. Except maybe yourself. I don't know. And quite frankly, I don't care. So we got Glaceon behind us, so I think we've got nothing left to do but other than take on the gym. Uh, yeah, let's go do that. So, uh, we've got to run up here. I believe there's nothing left to do to activate the gym event thing, so I think we're just going to put Pietro up front. Uh, and he can just wreck absolutely everything. That's that's my plan, at least. Good plan, good plan, good plan. Yeah. I hate normally relying on one Pokemon, but I don't know. I just want to get through this. Because Whitney is just a bitch. Just, that is the one word you can use to describe this girl. And, oh, look, we're nice and over-leveled. That's what I want to see. One of the issues I may have realized when I was uh, just taking a look at my team before I did this. Uh, go. Hang on. Okay, sorry about that. I literally just had to, like, stop everything. I was horrendously distracted and I've moved. So hopefully, like, any background noise will be quieter now. Um, and, like, I hit the Machop. Machop? Teddy, I said that one with headbutt accidentally. So, karate chop its face off and we are good. So, that's, that's one trainer defeated. And what I was babbling on about incoherently just before... Uh, I moved was we've only got nine super potions. That's not what I was on about. Um, 
Wind is mill, mill tank, for anyone that's played this game, or like the normal game for that measure, knows that the thing loves to use uh, attract, and it only of course works on Pokemon of the opposite gender. And I only have male Pokemon or Pokemon with like no gender, so I'm hoping, I'm praying that I'll be able to use um, Nathan in this battle, and he can just like tank out mill tank, or Petrol will just like chop its face off, which would be nice. And headbutt this Kecleon, and that is all over. That is all she wrote. And another thing I realised because I'm an idiot. Uh, I was going through the documentation of this game earlier, just like, you know what, I've never read this, this this might be interesting. And, uh, yeah, I found out I can get the EXP share from friggin', like, Violet City, so it's like, oh, great, that would have prevented, like, a death or two in training, well, I say a death, just Remy, really. Uh, B-Barrel, let's heal up. Healing sounds like a very good option, so... But, yeah, I was just going through that out of boredom, really, and, and interest, I suppose, so... We're going to have one hell overpowered Machop for this gym battle. And Dunsparce, you can just be taken down by it. Okay, not just a single Karate Chop, which kind of sucks, but another one will take you out. And do I have a Paralyzed Heal just to get rid of that? I do. And I think we can get through the next battle on just a small amount of health. I'm going to run back to the Pokemon Center anyway, so effectively it shouldn't matter. And why are you slightly stronger than the others, Karate Chop? Uh, wants to learn Rock Slide, hells yes. Uh, we know Rock Throw, what does Slide do? Slide 75 with 90 accuracy, may flinch. 50, 90 accuracy, yeah, Rock Slide's better than, than Rock Smash. Smash, throw, same thing. Happen, he died to a crate job. What, how much XP did we get for that thing? Anyway, yeah. Okay, and I forgot, I, I didn't know what level um, my chop evolved. Apparently it's 28. Who knew? So we've now got a nice shiny match oak. And I'm not entirely sure how to get this thing into a match champ. Um I could do that before this gym, but I'd be horrendously overpowered. Well, I'm horrendously overpowered as it is, so I'll look to, I'll look to do that afterwards. I don't know if I have to get to a certain level, but I'll check the documents and I'll do whatever method I have to do. Um because I want to get a Machamp. I've never had a Machamp. Like ever, <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I want one of these. He'll be awesome, Shosh, and he'll be called Pietro. I, I, I'll rename him to Awesome Souls. Actually, no, I won't do that. That's I love him as he is. Do a quick heal up, and we'll be good to go. I remember this Pokemon Center as the cursed one where we accidentally got a friggin' Turtwig, even though the friggin' Chimchar would have been a lot better and cuter and and f more like fiery burny fighting type awesomeness oh no wait no I remember what I wanted to do I wanted to go to the department store and make sure I have enough he Healy McKeely items and then of course after this we've got a pseudo wudo battle and that I can go back and get the EXP share then I love how like this early in the game you so some of the good stuff the, the good stuff uh, we'll get like seven super potions Make it 15. Uh, what are we like for Pokeballs? What are we like for Pokeballs? Uh, we have 7, so it's got like... 5? No. Let's just get like 3 of them. And... Uh, 3 Great Balls. Why the hell not? Because we're going to be catching some more Pokemon soon, so... Yeah, we'll be we'll be moving on to that, but first we have a gym battle to go and do, and we're going to go do that right now. So, usually I tend to make these uh, Storm Silver episodes a bit longer, so I'm going to try and aim to do the that today. We're about eight ish minutes, nine. I don't know. I <laughs> I've got a, like a timer right down there, like in the corner of my eye, but I'm not looking at it. I'm like looking at the one screen because I play it uh, horizontal screens rather than the um, vertical layout. Just because the screen's bigger and it's like nicer and clearer. Anyway, we've got Whitney to take on, so let's just do it. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine because we've got like a super machoke of death. I am Whitney. I saw you with the radio tower just now. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Just, just, oh, do you not? Do you, do you not just hate people like that? It's the case of oh, everyone's into that. Let's get into it as well, and then it's like oh my god, go away. I don't know. I just I just have a hatred of people like that in this life. She has six Pokemon. 
Okay, and and the licky tongue is fine. Look at that machoke. Look at it. I haven't even looked at his stats. Let's let's do that now. Look at these beautiful stats. I mean, he's slow, but but that attacks that. Why have you got a soothe bell? Why the hell have you got the soothe bell? I can't remember why I gave that to you. Anyway, let's just karate chop this thing. I'm pretty sure multiple just like fighting type moves is going to win this very easily. Body slam's fine. Hopefully, it won't paralyze. Yeah, should have bought some paralyzed heals. Because I've got nothing to get rid of that whatsoever. Fantastic. So I'm going to have to go through the entire battle paralyzed. Brilliant. And we'll just use headbutt to take you down. And apparently... Oh, brilliant. This has gone well. This has gone really well. Fine. Headbutt again. I swear, if I lose... Friggin my choke this early. There we go. Down goes Licky Tongue. I can already tell this is going to be such a, a horrendously fun gym battle. Right, we're no longer paralyzed, which is fine. Lop honey. Ooh, these things can learn flying type moves, which is really awkward. Uh, let's swap into. Uh, let's swap into Arthur, because I think Arthur can handle himself quite well. I hope, because I spent some time grinding him. Level 21, he's absolutely fine. We'll dig. We're, of course, going to be slower. DD punch, that's a stab with like 75 power. I don't know how much it will have after the stab. Okay, that's that's relatively sized chunk, but nothing too ridiculous. So we should be fine. Uh, the dig, I'm hoping to do about half damage. Actually, that, that sounds a bit hopeful. Come on, Arthur, don't let me down. Do not let me down. But, but the half damage was, uh, was a good call. Uh, why did I do mud bomb? Why did I do that? Mud bomb! That's not going to do anything to it. Okay, but it's accuracy fell, and this will give us an opportunity to heal up, which would be really nice. So let's do that. One of our 15 super potions. Dizzy punch will miss. Okay, great. So I can take that opportunity to heal up on um, Pietro. That's fine. And it missed again. One accuracy drop, and we're getting this kind of hacks. Okay, and it's typical. It, it hits the turn that I'm trying to kill it. Fantastic. Arthur can take those sort of hits for days. We'll just speed this up until the dig. There it is. And Lopunny is dead. Two Pokemon down. Unfortunately, that damn bitch Pokemon of hers is still around and she's sending it in now. Mill Tank. Like if if there is a single Pokemon player alive that hasn't had a nightmare about Whitney's Mill Tank, there are two reasons for that. A, you must have leveled up to level 100 and destroyed it immediately. Or B, you never played Pokemon Gold, Silver, or Crystal. Just oh my dear lord, this thing. It's just horrid. Absolutely horrid. So we're just going to quickly um, bulk up a couple of times just to build up our attack and defense. And hopefully just one-shot this thing right in its face. Uh, let's go one more. And attract. Typical. That's absolutely fine. And of course we'll paralyze on the the, the final one. Which is just typical really. Uh, we're going to super potion up. Sure we're like infatuated with it. But it should be fine. 15 HP for one body slam and a karate chop. Hopefully that'll hit. It would be really nice if it hit. Uh, or I could, you know, actually hit it. Just a part of me didn't even think to get paralyzed heals. Okay, we're going to get power hacks. This is fantastic. This is really what I wanted to see. I'm wasting more super potions than are necessary here. Okay, one more. Come on. Come on, Pietro. Just hit it in the face. Look at that, that smug... Smug cow face, I'll just hit it. Clean between its lovely. Thank you. That that's really helpful. Just cut its antlers off. No, 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 no. Please hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh good boy. He's so angry that he got critical hit. What? Why do you live the ha why do you feel the need to survive? Okay, body slam, don't crit me again. Don't you dare crit me again. Uh, yeah, I'm going to heal again, just because that crit did a scary amount of damage. Like, beyond necessary amount of damage, so we can take that. One headbutt should be enough to kill it, as long as we, you know, can get through the paralysis followed by the infatuation. Okay, we've got past paralysis. Come on. Oh, good boy. Done. We're going to have a level, like, 30 <laughs> macho by the time this is over. And that's just overpowered as hell. Uh, 79 attacks, that is 
stupendous. Wigglytuff, let's try and not rely on you for the rest of this gym battle. Let's go into Alex, who is just a stall tank. So Wigglytuff can be quite a beast of a Pokemon, so let's just stall this thing out with some Leech Seed and some Poison Powder. Why the hell are you carrying Ice Beam? Please don't kill me, please don't kill No, 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 no. Oh, good, good, good. You're not like the, the Wigglytuff. Like, I've played Blaze Black 2, and I've seen a lot of LPs on it, and the Wigglytuffs in that have just the highest special attacks that you've ever seen in your life. I'm sure we could take another Ice Beam, but it's just like the crit. If it crits, I'm done for. Yeah, I'm, I'm not leaving him in. I'm not going to leave him in to try and get off a of Poison Powder. That's just suicidal. Switch into Wade, because she won't be... She did predict, predict the switch. Props to you, Winnie. Props to you. But you're still going to get Leech Seed every turn, so that doesn't bother me. And that animation is just so slow. Uh, Flame Wheel. Come on, let's let's break through this. Break through the attraction. Come on. I forgot that every single one of our Pokemon is just going to be an attract whore. Thankfully, she's used her potion already, and she's not healing anymore. Because that milk tank can be the worst thing. It's like, oh, it's run out of milk drink PP. Oh, you know, it's fine. It'll die. Super potion. Friggin' rage. And then it'll just roll out your face off. And you'll be a dead mess on the floor. And you'll punch a hole through whatever you're using to play this game. And then you'll just take Pokemon for the rest of your life. Because believe me, I went through that stage. I didn't destroy anything. But yeah, Whitney calls the, some rage every now and again. Let's just kill this thing with, um, with Ember, shall we? Just burn it. It's it's fluffy. It's pink. It's just. Urgh. I'm so glad I couldn't convince uh, convince my girlfriend to do commentary for this episode because she would just be aring at every single Pokemon and I would be raging at her. And she's smiling at me now because she's just heard me say that comment. You would love Whitney. No, no, no. You won't. You can't love Whitney. I hate her. Okay, and Clefable is fine. Everything now shouldn't be too difficult. Clefable, I believe, is still just a normal type. So we're just going to Aurora beam this thing a few times with Kirk. Because I don't want any Pokemon dying on me. Kirk just did a monstrous amount of damage. He's so strong. That's fine. You use your Citrus Berry. Reflect. That raises defense. Yes, yeah, so why, why are you doing that? I'm a special attacker. Maybe. Yeah, I suppose. Because... The game would think I'd be using fighting type moves and attract. Every time I sit, if I get the TM for attract, it, it's just going to be sold straight away. And you've healed up, so that's fine. I feel the need to speed through the rest of this battle now because you have been a complete bitch and you have just stalled me with your attracts and your everything. And the Clefable is dead, and you finally, your final Pokemon is a Stantler. Let's use Nathan. Nathan will be the man to take you down. And let's just set up on this start, like, let's just... Just one left, but no, I ain't losing you here, you see. If you, if you had your mill tank as your last Pokemon, I'd believe you. But unfortunately, I don't believe you. How about, Stantler, like, you just take a Confuse Ray to the face? That, that'd be great. Okay, now you've taken that, let's just literally sit here and just calm mind ourselves ridiculously while he hits himself in confusion. Oh, thank you for that. You, we're asleep. I feel the need to speed up. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll wake up first turn. Thank you very much, Mr. Nathan. And one more extra sensory, and this should be game over for Whitney. I hope, as long as we... Typical. I try and be all dramatic. I try and build it up, and then we get flinched, and now we're asleep again. I feel the need as soon as I'm put to sleep to so just speed up. And, yeah, we need to heal. So, I'm not going to be that silly to, like, not do that. And extra sensory... Kaboom! I should have really stopped speeding up earlier. Moving on from that, Nathan gets a kill. And we've beat Whitney without losing anyone, which, albeit I was a little bit over level. We'll, we'll gloss over that fact. Yeah, I think you need to be over leveled for Whitney, and now she's just going to be like, cry. You're mean because you beat me. You should let me win because I'm a gym leader and I'm a girl and I, I, I hate everything. She doesn't hate everything, but she just hates losing because she's a crybaby little bitch. Is all that needs to be said. Yes, I want my damn badge. I wouldn't have come here otherwise. I'd have steered clear of you. 
And of course, she's uh, lets us use strength, even though we don't get strength till like another two, three gyms time. In fact, I think it's more than that. No, no, wait, no, it is three gyms because, yeah. And she's going to tell us about the Pokathlon, but that's not like necessary in this game because pretty much the only reason I would go to the Pokathlon in Soul Silver would be to get Evolution Stones. And you can just buy those from the Golden Rod uh, department store, so. If I could get out of this gym, that'd be great and stop running into walls everywhere. So, while I leave the gym, I'm pretty much going to recap what we've done. Uh, we've destroyed Whitney, which is good. We got ourselves our third gym badge, our third shiny new gym badge. So, we can now proceed in the game. Uh, plans for next episode are going to be heading north towards the bug catching contest, which I believe is on Saturdays, which I believe the time hasn't quite ticked over yet, but it might be by the time I record the episode. I've got no idea. Um, and I'm gonna look down how to evolve my champ. Not my choke into my champ, so he'll already be evolved by like the next episode. Um, hopefully it doesn't take too long. But um, yeah, I mean, he'll either be evolved or I'll find out how to do it, and I'll do it as soon as possible. Uh, but anyway, I would like you. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Comment any feedback. Subscribe for future updates, and I'll see you all next time.